if you've ever been taken advantage of, then you know what it's like. That feeling of being taken for a ride, taken for a fall, being taken for granted. And it's not nice to kind of come away and have that almost sickly feeling inside you, that kind of feeling of anger and frustration at that person who's just taking you down the swan, taking you for a complete and utter fall. If that's you, then I know what that's like. I hate this whole phrase of taken advantage of. Today, I got a phone call from a sales guy and he said, hi, have you heard about the situation in Iran? Now, if you've looked on the news, a lot of people are familiar with the whole Iranian stuff at the moment. And I was like, yes, I've read the news. I've read the news. I know what that's about. I was kind of wondering where this conversation is going. And he's like, so, sir, would you like to take advantage of the... And before he finished his sentence... I was already had alarm bells ringing. Those red flags were going ding, 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 ding. What is he on about? Why would I want to take advantage of? And this guy didn't know me. But then he started talking about it. Now, this is where you need to be careful because he started talking about, Sir, now's the time to invest in this situation. Time for you to take advantage of. And I was like, whoa. Number one, I'm not taking advantage of anything, any situation, anybody. And then this guy proceeded to say, well, look, sir, um, I'd like to pass you on to my colleague. I was like, well, hold on a minute. I was just talking to you and you want to pass me on to somebody else. And there's nothing worse than being felt like you're being passed on, being passed from pillar to post. If you've ever been passed from pillar to post, you know exactly what that feels like. And so straight away, I was like, thank you, but no thank you. When I first started this job of coaching, again, one of the conversations that I had with somebody was like, aren't you taking advantage of vulnerable people? Aren't you taking advantage of people with their emotions? Well, no, no, because... If you go to the doctors when you're sick, is the doctor taking advantage of you? If your car is broken down and that needs fixing, is he taking advantage of the broken car? Well, maybe he might charge you more if you're not familiar with it. But the point is, we still provide a service. We're not about taking advantage of people but if you go on things like facebook facebook is full of marketeers we used to have lots of cold calls it's all about closing the deal it's all about getting money from you you may have heard the phrase invest in yourself again what that means is what exactly and we have to question that now i'm going to tell you an inside secret here if i wanted to sell you something I could sell it you. Why? Because I've been trained by the best. I've been trained by the best. One of the first questions I had as a salesperson was, Steve, sell me this pen. And I had to sell the pen to them, their manager. Not only that, but my job was then to go out into the street and get people to hand over their credit cards to me. They didn't know me. They didn't know the organisation. They didn't know what I was on about. They got no real rapport with me. But my job was to get people signed up, not hand over loose change, hand over their credit cards and sign up £10, £20, £30, £40, £50, whatever we could get from them. And we had to use all sorts of tactics and closing deals um, just to get that sale. And it was very manipulative and it was very kind of emotional. And so if I wanted people's money in this game, then I could. I could use tricks of the trade if I wanted to. I've got empathy. I've got person centers. I care about passionately about people. I'm good at building rapport with people. So if I was in this game for money, then I could do. If it was about getting sales off you, I could. But I'm not. So people say to me, well, Steve, look. What are you about? And I think it's important that when you want to know 
where to invest your money or who to invest it in. You find out what that person is about, what they stand for. So I'm going to tell you what I'm about. I'm going to tell you right now because this is what I'm about. I've got two girls. Now these girls, if you're a parent, they are the centre of my life. Now girls are expensive. Kids are expensive. Okay, so I, as a father, as a parent, I want to support them. So when I'm giving away my services for free because I just love what I do, I'm actually taking the money away from them. So if they need new shoes, I can't say to them, oh, look, sorry, daddy doesn't have the money for your new shoes because actually daddy gave away his stuff for free. If they want to go on an educational trip because that's going to expand their education, I can't turn around and say, sorry, sorry, this month you can't because daddy, well, gave away all his stuff for nothing. Now, again, if you know me, you know that I set my pricing at a price where everybody can afford the service that I offer. Why? Because I've been on benefits. I know what it's like to live on low weight. I know what it's like to be homeless. I know what it's like to have no money. I know what it's like to desperately need the help. And the help wasn't there. And so if I can offer the expertise that I've got, that I've spent years studying for, for literally nothing, then I will. Why? Because I'm about helping people. Because I care about people. I care when they're depressed. I care when they're lonely. I care when their head is so crazy. They are going to do silly things to themselves or other people. And I spend a lot of my time building up relationships with people. Investing, investing, investing in my relationships with people. Why? Because I care. Because I care. Now, how many other salespeople can you say the same about? Do they know you? Do they know your life history? Do they know what music you like? What colours you like? What makes you excited? What doesn't make you excited? Probably not. Why? Because they just want your money. They're taught to get the sale. If that's the sort of person you want, then that's fine. But I'm not about that. And I'm going to tell you now, straight away, and I shouldn't be saying this, but I don't need your money. Obviously, I'd like it, and I'd like you to invest in me, but I don't need it. Why? Because I will always find all the ways of making money. Because that's what I'm about. I've had no money, and I've also worked my way from nothing to something, and I've done that several times. So I have the ability to go from nothing to something very, almost very quickly. And my mum always used to say, you always land on your feet. So again, I'm not after your money. You know, if you want to invest in me, that's great. And we can do great things. But I just want to get to know you. And I want to help you in as much as I can and share that expertise that I've got. And so if I'm the kind of guy that you think... Actually, yeah, he gives a damn. Actually, he walks the walk and he talks the talk and he knows where I've been and where I need to get to. And actually, he can fast track me rather than dragging me slowly because I've got no time to mess about. I need to do this now. I need to make the change now. And he's got the strategies and he's got the skills to do it. And he gets me and he understands me and he understands that actually it could take a while because I've got a lot of issues but he's still there with me, then I would love to have you on board with me. I'd love you to find out what I'm about. I'd love you to get to know me before you even invest in me. So, this is me. I'm not like a lot of sales guys. I won't take advantage of you. Thank you for listening.